Anka! Yo, what is going on guys? This is Act Anka and uh, <laughs> that was my intro guys. I just made it last night or this morning uh, because I was bored and I was like, hmm, I need an intro. And uh, yeah, I just made it real quick. Might be like customizing it a little bit, but if you wonder what it is, I'm gonna explain it more in the a future video to come. I'm gonna actually make a few personal videos or like videos about me so you guys can get to know me before Black Ops 2 and stuff if you're interested in that. Stay around before Black Ops 2 comes out and uh, yeah I'm gonna do like a vlog thing about myself like Pretty much just show my face, I guess. I'm not gonna talk that much, I think. I, we'll see. And uh, I can't make any promises when I'm gonna upload it, but I'm gonna try to get it off for Black Ops 2 or before Black Ops 2 comes out. But I'm really bad at promising stuff that has to do with me achieving stuff because I don't know, I just get like stressed out and stuff when I promise people <laughs> stuff about uh, stuff like that. So, yeah. Be patient guys, and uh, yeah, this is my, gonna be my last Black Ops video, I'm pretty sure, I don't think I'm gonna upload anything more from Black Ops 1, and uh, I've had a good run on Black Ops guys, it's been, I had a lot of fun playing this game, uh, it's probably my favorite game of all time, gameplay wise, like I like other games, because of story and like campaign wise, I guess. But yeah, this is my first Call of Duty and I played it a lot, so I've become a fairly good player, I guess. Anyways, I'm gonna talk about campers versus objective players today and I hope this transfers over to Black Ops 2 that it's gonna be pretty much the same deal. Because in my experience, campers always lose. Rushers that play objective always win. Uh, and by that I mean if the players are and the enemy team and your team are fairly balanced and uh, if they are fairly balanced the objectives player the objective players will always win no matter what like that's my experience at least if you have like a full party against you that camps their KD getting choppers and dogs and stuff uh, yeah it's a really hard time to win but anyways I'm a player that goes for wins I don't go for gameplays, I don't go for KD, uh, I just play and have fun, and if the gameplays do come, uh, they do, and that's how I'm gonna keep on playing Black Ops 2 I guess as well, uh, I guess I kind of have to change my game style up a bit because playing like I do in this game, just rushing around like an idiot, is probably not gonna work so well, at least not in the beginning of Black Ops 2. And uh, don't expect me to be the best player on Black Ops 2, I'm going to probably have a really hard time on that game. I don't think I'm going to have as huge success as I've had in this game. Because on this game, like when I went for a score per minute and stuff, when I went, when I went, went for gameplays, used chopper and stuff like everyone else did, I was always like top 10 on the leaderboards weekly, uh, every week for mo almost every game mode. So. Uh, don't expect me to uh, do that well in Black Ops 2 because I really just feel like lying, laying back and just play that game uh, without any stress or anything. I'm not gonna go for gameplays. I might be streaming uh, a lot though, we'll see, because that's more casual. I, just, I can just relax and play like I always do because I never really stress gameplays out. Uh, but anyways, uh, what was I talking about? Campers, yeah. You'll see in this game that they get a lot of freaking chopper gunners and the uh, dogs and all that shit. And uh, my team is doing really bad. I'm kind of carrying my team right now and the uh, Kaiser off better as well. It's like we're trying to cap flags like we always do. And uh, we do really well this game. I mean, maybe it's hard to tell. For the average player that we really struggle this game, but we do. 
uh, it's more visual in the ending, I think, because I die a lot and I don't really get a lot of kills, but I don't give a shit because we won the game and uh, these guys were probably pretty cocky because they camped their chopper and dogs and all that crap. So, anyways, I'm not gonna talk too much more about the gameplay because, yeah, this game is really, really old now. Uh, I don't really care actually, I could talk about gameplay all day, but, <laughs> but still. Um, yeah, I'm really, really, really excited for Black Ops 2, guys. Um, hopefully, it'll be as good as Black Ops 1 is. Like, design wise, I've seen some gameplays, I really haven't checked that much, but gameplay or design wise, wow. I love that game's design. Like, I've heard some gun sounds, and wow, they sound really bad, but. We'll see. Um, it's not a finished game yet, so uh, we'll see when I have the game. I try to. I've pre-ordered it, so I should get it on the release date. So, but we'll see, guys. Uh, I'll come around with an update video before Black Ops 2 as well. So, I'll see you later, guys. I'm put some music behind this now. So, peace out and watch out for the ducks out there. Spy plane standing by. Five lanes are ready for deployment. Friendly five lanes in bone.